Good afternoon. There is an update. On Thursday, the police did call and he said he had read the previous report. And could I bring him up to date as to what else had happened? I said, well, it still is continuing. Nothing has changed on that front. He still is calling on the no caller ID. He still is leaving messages on unknown user on the voicemail on your phone. He's still calling me on Skype and he's still messaging me on Skype and now sending pictures. But I'm wanting an update from you. That's why I phoned twice to get someone to call me back. I said, you do know it's three weeks tomorrow since the first call. And I said, I was expecting an update that you've done the facial recognition. And because of that, A, you'd found out who it is and there was a visit on the way, or you had done it, or somebody had been it called, or there was nothing on the system and you've got to go down the Skype ID route. And he said, no, we haven't even, we haven't done anything yet. Why wouldn't you have done anything? I was given a distinct impression that because of the logs, the video I did and managed to do screenshots, that facial recognition would be the route you'd go down straight away. You do it in England and then you would send it up to Scotland and hope they got a hit up there. And then failing both of those, you would then go and approach Skype. So I said, so from this statement, what is going to happen then? And he said, well, it all depends on whoever reads the statement that I've made and puts all the information together with the call logs and the videos and all the messages, makes a decision whether it's worth taking forward. Whether it's worth taking forward. He then said, let's start with the statement. I said, I give it 10 minutes in my head. I was losing patience. We were almost at an hour at this point. I'd cooked dinner. I'd tidied it all up, ready to serve. I'd washed up all the dishes that I prepared it in. And we were still at this point. So we start off with, if we go down this route, we will probably end up at court. Do you understand what a victim impact statement is? I said, yes, I do. I said, the only thing that'll be on my victim impact statement well, is how much this person has cost me over the three months. Because I've had to have my phone silenced, do not disturb, the vibrate off, and sometimes airplane mode. Now that causes me issues because I'm missing calls, I'm missing text, and I'm missing prospective business. It's an online business. I don't think he was too impressed with that reply. So we went on to the next. I could see this nose diving at this point. Would you have any objection if we applied for your medical records? Why do you need my medical records when you should be looking at his medical records because it's not normal to call somebody a hundred times a day, peaking at 200 and doing the messages and the calls and everything else on top. I think you really need to be getting his medical records unless you're trying to imply by doing what I do as a job, I'm actually not all quite there. Never said a word. Started off down this statement and this is where I just knew it was a waste of time. So how did he get your number? I won't bore you with most of it. It basically ended up with, thank you very much for phoning today. I do apologize for if I have wasted your time, but I think you've wasted enough of mine and him over the last few months. So I will now say thank you very much and I'm not taking this any further. Put the phone down. I sat for half an hour and then, ping, an idea came to me. I copied a link from the video I'd put on earlier, sent it to the stalker and said, what do you think? 
left him with it for a bit, went off, came back to a torrent. <laughs> Probably a tsunami of messages of, how dare I? How horrible am I? What a dreadful woman. How vile. Um, against his human rights. Oh, the list went on. I said, well, I'm glad you're not happy about it. I said, because, you know, I don't want to take it any further, but you leave me no choice. I said, if you continue to phone and call, this is my next step. These are the screenshots I've took of you. You choose which is the best one, your best side, because that's the one I'm putting on TikTok next. I said, I've also got the little snippets of video. I mean, I won't show it all because, you know, that's not fair. I've took little bits when you're saying where you live, what you do and why you wanted to keep phoning me. And I've put that together as a little montage. Now, if you stop today and there is no calls, there is no messages, there is nothing, no communication with me at all in any way at all, I won't put them on. One more phone call, one more email, one more message, one more anything, it goes on TikTok, it goes on Twitter and it goes on YouTube. The choice is yours. So my friends, that was eight o'clock Saturday morning. We're now Sunday evening. Not a call, not a message, not a picture, not an anything. So here I am having my first Sunday night in months with no calls, no texts, no messages. Have a lovely glass of wine, dinner's cooking, and actually, you know, it's a good day. But I do appreciate all the follows, all the views, and all the questions you've put in the comments. And let's just hope what I've done, or any part of what I've done, helps somebody else. Have a rest of a lovely evening. Bye for now.